Hello there everyone, it is I, Mia Crystal Colors Warrior Cats, and recently I applied to a Warrior Cats map hosted by Lyoko called Anthem of the Lonely, which has a classic early 2011 Warriors AMV theme to it. Uh, basically taking inspiration from old art made by Flightfoot Warrior and other Warrior Cat artists from that time. Now, I pretty much have no personal experience with that particular art style, uh, apart from doing somewhat similar things way back when on my first channel with My Little Pony. But not with Warriors. I mean, I've definitely come across some Warrior Cat ones in my early Warriors fandom years, but it was never my main main inspiration like it was for a lot of people, since that type of thing has definitely died off at the time I joined. Regardless, I think it's very, very cool, and it looked like a lot of fun to do, so I got the part, and here is what I've made with it. So part of this map's rules was that you had to draw your part in MS Paint. Now, my art journey began in MS Paint, but I have not actually touched the program or drawn anything serious with it for five years now, so it was definitely a bit difficult to get used to from the start. When I was young, I learned a lot of cool tricks with MS Paint that made the experience easier, like this whole being able to draw backgrounds behind characters with the eraser tool if you mess around with the colors, uh, and also this removal of backgrounds with this black and white properties feature, which I actually had to use quite a few times when making this part because I kept, I kept fucking up and zooming in my sketches, forgetting that that blurs them and makes coloring impossible. Ah, those beautiful white pixels between my line art and coloring. I have forgotten that feeling. Another thing I had completely forgotten was an issue, was sometimes the pencil tool, a strictly pixel tool would just become blurry or slightly change colors with really really swift strokes at least i think so it happens like at random and i have no idea what causes it but it happened multiple times and it ended up making the coloring process on this part even more unnecessarily difficult but despite all that i actually did have a lot of fun drawing in ms paint it was very f freeing in a way um, I have to assume it's because of the theme of the map. I didn't really feel pressure to create any impressive perspectives or overly impressive artwork because, well, I'm trying to imitate that old style and, quote, trying to do bad on your art was the way to go. Funnily enough, even though I definitely didn't care too much about anatomy in this part and pretty much winged half of this, I ended up creating a lot of shots that I really, really like, which is just... God damn it, art skill, where are you when I need you? Anyways, let's get to talking about the actual part itself. What you see here is very little art process that I managed to record because I realized that I wanted to make this video about halfway into completing the entire part. So, yeah, unfortunately, this is all we're working with. As I mentioned before, this map required us to draw edgy old style warrior cats, and we were allowed to pick whatever cat we wanted. Now, I was originally thinking of using Ashfur because I really like the classic Ashfur design, and as far as I could tell, it was only used once so far. Uh, used by Ofu Kitty, Ofu Kitty, uh, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, <laughs> which is how I found out about the map in the first place. But then, I remembered that my boy, my man, my beloved Crowfeather also has had his fair share of old edgy Amy V's, so he was perfect for this map. So I of course immediately went to draw him. Now I had a vague idea of what I wanted to do with this part, but to be honest I half-assed half of the storyboard. The basic idea of this part is obvious though. Crowfeather is sat and edgy over the loss of Feathertail, and then him being sat and edgy over the Leaf Pool and Nightcloud before dramatically crying into the sky in pain and agony. I think I nailed the presentation here. Now, for this classic old school look, it's not just the style or the art program that's important, it's also the designs. Now, Feathertail design here is actually point by point exactly like my current one because. Uh, it only occurred to me after I drew that shot of Feathertail that I should have probably looked into how Feathertail was drawn back then, so I could, you know, more accurately portray that era of warriors. 
but what was done was done. <laughs> I made sure to look into other old videos and take inspiration from them from uh, for the designs uh, from that point on. The crow feather design used here is basically also identical to mine, <laughs> but from what I glanced over, it's really not that different from how he was drawn back then anyways, so I kept it as it is and didn't really feel like I needed to change much apart from making him slightly simpler, I guess. Leafpool, on the other hand, I changed a lot. She actually has an insane amount of different types of designs from that time period, but from what I could kind of generally gather up was that she was usually drawn with a light brown color and often didn't have a white muzzle. I assume it's because back then people looked more closely into the canon descriptions of characters because yes, Leafpool does in fact not have a white muzzle. But I mean, if you google Leafpool right now, you'll pretty much not find a single Leafpool design that doesn't have a white or lighter colored muzzle. I mean, fact is, she just looks better with the white muzzle on. I love you, Leafpool, but your canon design is ugly. I can't believe the Aaron's chickened out on canonizing your beautiful white muzzle. The editing for this part was probably the fastest editing I have ever done in my life. I don't even think it took me 20 minutes to complete it. But I think if I spent any longer on it, it would have lost its classic charm. And I think that's it. I think I've said everything I wanted to say about this part. I hope you all enjoyed listening to my rambles. I really do like making these types of videos and I really hope to make them more often. I had a lot of fun doing this part and it was a really interesting experience I recommend you all to try yourselves. If you have not drawn an MS Paint before, I suggest you do that right now. I think I had so much fun doing this part that I'm kinda considering hosting a classic Warrior Cat style map myself now. But we'll still see about that. I've got plenty of other maps in the works right now. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye